Hey, Miles here, milesbecker.com. In this video, you're gonna learn step-by-step -step on the computer exactly how to create a playlist inside of YouTube, and then you're gonna learn how to embed that playlist into your YouTube channel page, essentially your homepage on YouTube. Now, I was doing a members-only live review yesterday with my members from the contentandconversion.com program, and a lot of the kind of 90-day challengers on YouTube were missing this little component. This is a great way to optimize your channel to get better view time to get more engagement from your viewers so it's really important for you as a youtuber to get this dialed in now let's first and foremost take a look at the example of the problem we're seeking to solve so this is Shirley Curry and if you don't know Shirley Curry I call her the granny gamer and she's a beautiful example of an extremely successful youtuber you can see she has about 410,000 subscribers she's in her 80s and she videotapes herself playing PC games and she just has a lot of fun with it and she's grown Grown quite the following but you look she literally has four videos on her homepage, and that's it there's a lot of opportunity for her to essentially create playlists based on the different games the different things she's doing to offer her visitors more videos to watch more videos they watch the more view time she gets that increases her channel authority and essentially YouTube will bring her more visitors so on contrast we've got my page here where you see I've got first of all uh, like a fifth of, of of the subscribers she does so good on granny gamer but really you'll notice I've got all of these different um, kind of playlists embedded here that give a viewer who reaches my page more options of videos to watch trying to meet them at where they're at if they want to learn how to analyze Facebook ads to run Facebook ads to build a funnel uh, essentially email marketing you know there's all kinds of different ideas the second thing we're doing is we're getting more text on our page right so how to make money with affiliate marketing is one of those keyword phrases that my channels optimized for so I not only now have a video with that title but I've got that title actually on my channel page along with some extra text about that here so it's just good for the overall optimization of your channel so for me the first thing I need to do now is to think about okay what playlist makes the most sense and this is what you should be doing as well is think about what is the playlist that makes the most sense you want to go group a bunch of or I don't know three five seven videos that are of a similar topic right there's relevance to each other that you want to group them together in a playlist so for me I've done some speeches on stage at uh, internet marketing, digital marketing conferences, uh, Facebook marketing conferences around the world in the last couple of years. So that's what I'm going to create. I, I'm going to go group all of my keynote speeches and my conference speeches together in a playlist and add that here. So how did I come up with that? Well, first I came up with the idea of that's what I want to do. But then I went into my keyword tool, which is milesbecker.com forward slash KW Finder, and I've got a video, my keyword research video. It teaches you how to use this exact tool. And I started searching around, and I did probably about 15 searches. And I found that digital marketing speech, it's got a low search volume, right? It's only 50 searches per month, but it's got a low keyword difficulty score as well, which is why I like this. I want to go after a low difficulty phrase. And even though it's only 50 searches per month, I'm thinking that these are potentially like marketing conference promoters or marketing kind of events coordinators who are looking for people doing digital marketing speeches to have them at their events which is why I want to rank for this type of a phrase and then I can see over here on the top 10 you can see that YouTube comes in so they're showing YouTube videos for these um, the other one I found was marketing keynote presentations um, I think that's the other side so you'll see how I combine those two and then I was curious which phrase is it digital marketing or is it internet marketing what's the what's the right phrase to use because they're about the same idea so I went to Google Trends and I searched and it's it's abundantly clear that the phrase digital marketing is indeed where kind of most of the searches go compared to internet marketing so that's how I came up with my ideas now that was essentially the foundation if you will of all the pieces I need and at this point we're gonna get in and actually do the work so the first thing we're gonna do is go into the creator studio which is essentially the dashboard in your kind of YouTube management system it brings us to the video manager I'm gonna click on playlists here and that's actually gonna bring me to where we can create the playlist you can see I have 25 of them created already and then we want to just click the new playlist button up top and it's asking us for the title and I'm getting my um, keywords in here is my ultimate goal so I've got let me type this out real quick 
Cool. So I've set it up as digital marketing speeches and marketing keynote presentations. And now it brings me to the page where this is actually my playlist itself. I've got two things I'm going to do here on the page. Number one is we're going to add the videos. And then number two is we want to add a description to this, but let's go ahead and add the videos first. Now, when I click on the edit, we're going to go to edit here. It's going to bring me in the editor side and I can add the video right here on the right. And you can see the edit button for the ad description is this little pen icon here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add the videos and it wants to pull my YouTube videos right here. But what happens is it just lists all my YouTube videos and it doesn't give me the search functionality, which is a little bit annoying. So I set it up to the URL itself and then I'm gonna go back to YouTube in another window and I'm gonna go to my channel. Now I'm going to search my channel to find the video URLs and then I'm just going to paste them inside of there. Uh, for me, this is the easiest way. And I use this lower search bar here on my channel to make sure it's getting just my searches here. And the first one I'm going to search is for DMSS, which is the digital marketing Skillshare. That's the actual image you're seeing up here on my bar. So you can see Facebook advertising keynote from DMSS. I'm going to copy this link location and then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to paste it in. And then it pulls it up and then I just click add videos and then it adds it to the playlist down here. It takes one quick second. Now it also pulls whichever the top one is as your main imagery here. And I want to add a few more videos. I've got, as I said, I've got several of them. That one was in Bali. I did the event in um, Slovenia, the in orbit event. So let me type that in search for the in orbit presentation I did. And that one's right here, the $5 per day Facebook advertising system. So I'm gonna copy that link. And I'm going to paste it in here. I'm going to go through this just a couple more times. I'm going to put maybe four of them in here. Um, I think I've got about six or seven total. Uh, you don't want to make your playlists ridiculously long. I've got one that's like 25 videos. I think that's too long. I think it's good to have it uh, digestible and able for someone to get through. Um, one quick more second here. The fast track to Facebook advertising was a speech I did. So this was on the Nomad Cruise when we cruised from South America to Europe. Coffee link location. I did a talk there. So I'm going to go add this video here. And you just keep adding them until you get all of the ones that you want in there. Um, let's see here. Do the rest of the optimization. So and I'll show you how to organize them next. So I'll copy that link, click add videos, and then put the URL in, paste my URL. It's going to automatically pull it, click add videos. All right, so that's easy, right? Easy enough. I go search them in one window and I go add them here. Now there's two ways to kind of um, edit the order because you rarely are going to get it done in the order that you want. So the number one way is on the right where it's got the more tab, you can drop this down and you can move to top or move to bottom. That's one of the ways you can do it. But the easier way is to just grab on the left. You see how it highlights these three little buttons? Then it becomes a drag and drop situation. And you're easily able to drag and drop the different uh, kind of order that you want it in. Um, get it all set up the way you want. I'm going to actually put that one on top because I really like that speech. I feel like it was a great shot and it was a lot of fun with that group. Next up, we're going to add the description. You always want to add a description because this is just another opportunity for you to get the keywords and the relevance through the written word into the search engines, right? YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world. So it's an opportunity to get that inside of the page inside of your homepage once we embed that to your homepage here. So uh, I'm going to speed this video up and I'm going to type up a quick um, couple of paragraphs for this and then we'll go add it to the homepage together. So one quick second here. Okay, then when you're done, you simply click out of that box and it automatically saves it here. Um, that's it. So I've kind of added this since mine's really truly designed to find someone who's looking for a keynote speaker. Um, I, I tailored my content in that direction, but you'll notice I've got digital marketing keynote speaker. Um, Facebook advertising keynote speech. I've got the, the keyword phrases inside of there, plus some content for that potential reader. At this point, I'm happy with it. And just one more heads up, you got the X button if you wanna remove any videos here, but I'm pretty stoked on how this playlist just worked itself out. So now let's go figure out how to add this to your homepage. So I wanna just go right back to the homepage on the channel. We'll kind of start back at zero. Now I have that extra playlist in. What we wanna do is we wanna use the customized channel button this 
this time. And it's going to bring us into our channel customization process where we can actually customize that homepage. So down here, I'm going to go on the bottom of this. Now you notice yours will be a lot higher, but I go to the very, very bottom and there's an add a section item and you can just click that add a section. It'll be a lot higher on yours and then select content. Now I've got my popular uploads and my uploads showed showing up, but at this point I want to add a single playlist. So I choose single playlist. I like the horizontal rows personally, choose a playlist. It's already set for my playlist. And then I click find playlist and I'm going to type in keynote because that's what I just made a playlist about. It was keynote speeches. So you can see it auto populates here. I'm going to click that and it's going to give me a little kind of a preview of it here. I click done. And there it is. Now it's live. I can use this little up arrow to move it up. And I want to move this up, up, up to the very top. I think this is maybe some of the most valuable content I've put out. I put a lot of time, energy into building these case or these, uh, these presentations. Um, and then, you know, I think there's a lot of added credibility to my YouTube channel. So I'm literally going to move these all the way to the tip top. And that's where they're at now. And that's it. I'm done. There's really nothing else I need to do here in order to kind of modify or to save it. It automatically saves it when it's in place. And that's it. At this point, we're going to go back one last time. Let's go see what we actually created here and just go back to my channel URL, youtube.com slash miles B. And when it loads, we're going to see that we have right up top digital marketing speeches and marketing keynote presentations. And you can see you've got my best ones right here up top. And I can, again, I can move this around. I can put my popular ones up above if I want uh, full organizational control over how we do this. But this is the process that I've used over and over to add a lot of my content. And again, really the goal is to give your readers who are your viewers, excuse me, who find one of your long tail keyword videos. They find a video about a specific topic from the search engine results, they watch it, they like you, then they click on your name or your headshot that's right below the video. At that point, it takes them to your channel page. And the question is, do they see four videos or do they see a wide variety of the quality helpful videos you've created? And that's what we're doing here is adding more quality videos and quality playlists to your homepage. You want to group them based on keywords and you want to make sure you get the keywords in the title of the playlist, in the description of the playlist, and you want those keywords to be kind of used throughout the videos on the playlist itself. It helps you get extra relevance in the search engine, right? In their algorithm, it'll help you get more time watched from the users who find your videos. All in all, it's going to help your channel authority. It'll help you become a better publisher that YouTube loves to send more traffic to. That's the best way to win at the game of YouTube is become a the type of content publisher that YouTube falls in love with. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up here. If you know someone who's got a channel and they're not really optimizing the channel and they're missing this optimization key, please grab the URL, send them the video, go post it in the Facebook group, whatever it is, do what you do. I appreciate any sort of engagement. Questions about this process, you can get at me in the comments below. I'm happy to answer your questions when I have time. And on that note, I'm going to call it for this video, but be sure to subscribe. I do three videos a week here. I got another video coming out in a couple of days, teaching you more digital marketing tactics, more entrepreneurship tactics. I'm happy to help you grow your business online. I thank you greatly for your time today. And I look forward to connecting with you on the next video until we connect again. Be well.